Hello guys, welcome to Trace Team. If you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to click the subscribe button so you guys don't miss no new videos that I post. Today's video, Stormy Daniels gave her testimony, but there was only one issue. The judge said she can't be trusted. Here's why. Here from the Queens County Supreme Court. Uh, judge, you have been there inside of the courtroom watching. What has stood out to you today? Well, it, it, what stood out to me is that uh, Donald Trump's defense attorney cross-examining uh, Stormy Daniels, Susan Nicholas, really did her homework. Uh, she did exactly what a def good defense attorney is supposed to do. She looked at uh, prior statements. Uh, she searched for inconsistencies. And uh, she, had, she had some. Uh, in particular, there was a lot of questioning about Stormy Daniels giving an interview to some kind of a gossip magazine in 2011 where she appeared to allude to a having actually having dinner in the penthouse with Donald Trump at the time of the uh, the alleged event and the sexual encounter. Uh, she testified very clearly uh, Tuesday on, on direct examination that uh, there was no dinner. There was uh, hours of conversation and no dinner. Uh, so, you know, a, d a defense attorney's job is to try and expose inconsistencies like that to get the juries to start to think or possibly doubt, well, if you can't trust her on that kind of a detail, what about the other details? Uh, did they go that far that they'll call her entire, that the jury would be likely to call her entire testimony in doubt over that issue? I don't know, but the DA, uh, the defense attorney certainly um, did her job. Another point that was picked up on where they left off Tuesday on cross-examination was whether or not Stormy Daniels was uh, interested in, in money in connection with the uh, non-disclosure agreement that uh, she had an attorney uh, negotiate where she uh, received $130,000. She continues to state her prime reason wasn't money. It was trying to stay safe. Uh, based on something else she spoke about, about being threatened back in 2011, although by her own admission, she never reported this threat uh, to the police or made a timely report. So uh, that was all done. And, uh, you know, it was, it was quite interesting. And she, the jury has a lot to think about here. Yeah, they sure do. I mean, uh, Susan Nicholas really trying to go after, as you said, the credibility and the motivation of Stormy Daniels. A lot of focus on some, I guess, rather salacious details. Her, the number of films that she was in as a... So, there you have it, guys. The defense attorney is doing her job very well. Stormy Daniels' whole entire story and case is just falling completely apart. I think that this thing should just go ahead and get thrown out before it gets any worse. That'll be a wrap for today's video, guys, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.